Hi, and welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips, guys. Today in this video, I'm just gonna be doing a quick unboxing of the DJI Air 3S drone with the Fly More Combo Kit to show you what's included in the box and also get my hands on the drone and give you my first impressions. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this drone, which I highly doubt given that you're watching this video, this is DJI's newest drone as of fall 2024. And the big features of this drone over the Air 3, you know, without the S version of this drone is the fact that it includes a larger sensor up front. That's a one inch sensor now in the camera unit and also includes an additional LiDAR sensor for the first time in any DJI drones on the front of the drone to hopefully give it better obstacle avoidance. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, you can always guarantee that whatever drone DJI releases is always gonna have some fancy new feature and probably is gonna be one of the most advanced drones they've ever released, but is it really worth it? And is the camera actually that good? I don't know, that's what I'm gonna be testing out in future videos, but this video is all about just unboxing it and taking a look at the drone itself and what's included. So. Yeah, without wasting any more of your time, let's get to taking a look at just that. So, I mean, the box, if you wanna see it, here it is, it's white. It's very simple, Air 3S, Air 3S, shows on the back a little bit what's included, app, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, I don't know, not gonna waste your time more with that, guys, you've seen boxes before. Uh, so let's get to opening this up. If I can, peel that little strip off there, and then, Open the top, boom, there we go, whoa. Uh, that was very easy, not much more packaging other than actually the carrying case. So I kind of like that, they get rid of a lot of that extra packaging by using the carrying case that you get for the drone. So I'll set aside the box for now. Uh, and you can see right off the start here is the case you get for the drone and carrying all your accessories. It's not like a full messenger bag, but it's definitely bigger than the standard case that you get with like the Mini 4 Pro and the Air 2 and Air 2S drone. So yeah, it's pretty nice, a little gray, kind of like a, maybe a fabric, mesh fabric up here, and then more of like a neoprene uh, type like fake leather-ish thing down here, but feels fairly well built and it has a nice little clip here. So even if you don't want to use it for your drone, you can maybe use this for, I don't know, carrying other stuff around. But personally, I probably will be just taking the drone out and putting it in my suitcase or my backpack that I have for photography. But it's nice that they include this in the Fly More combo. Uh, opening it up, we get all the stuff just right there. Like, hello, welcome to the main show. Uh, we'll pull the drone out for now, but set it aside and take a look at that later. Uh, and get to the accessories, because I think those are kind of like eating your vegetables first before getting to the main course. So starting it off here with the accessories, it looks like we got a lot of propellers. I think they include three sets of propellers or three spare sets because obviously you need four of these to go on the drone right away. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Yep, there's enough. And then they, it looks like, yeah, there's an extra six propellers. So that's an extra set and a half of propellers included. So. A whole bunch of propellers, but a bunch will be going on the drone right away to get it in the air. Next up here, you get the ND filters, I think these are. Now, I'm a bit mixed on this. I think DJI really doesn't necessarily need to be including ND filters with a drone. With the mini series, definitely, I'm not a fan of ND filters, but I guess with the air series, you know, because you have that fixed aperture, if you really are serious, about having the exact 180 degree shutter rule while filming, then yeah, I guess it's nice that they include some ND filters. You're ready to go right out of the box. If you don't get the Fly More Combo Kit, maybe look at like Polar Pro or a different brand rather than buying DJI's because I think they're a little overpriced, but either way, yeah. Uh, they, you get those with the Fly More Combo Kit, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, next up here, we have the battery charging hub. And this is something that personally, as someone who hasn't owned the Air 3 series of drones yet, I'm very excited about because DJI introduced with this you know, series of drones, the charging hub that actually redistributes the battery charge between batteries. So say you have all three batteries charged up, you use them down to 20%, 20%, 20%. You can then go, okay, 
boop, 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 charge this one up to 60% and now have basically an extra flight to go without you know, getting back to a charging port, which if you're someone who goes camping or just you know, isn't always near an outlet, this is really helpful. So very excited to try this feature out. The charging hub as a result is a lot more bulky than something like the Mavic 3, which kind of just is a strip that you put underneath the battery. But I don't know, it's not that much heavier. It's just plastic. So yeah, it looks pretty well built. And at the bottom here is how you unclip the batteries, which that just feels really nice and secure. Like very easy, very you know simple to know which way goes down with this little like hanging over lip. You're like, okay, clearly that goes down. So yeah, well-designed feature. Pretty sure this is identical to the version that's included with the Air 3, but I could be wrong. Uh, correct me in the comments if I am. And then here, oh, he looks like we have more accessories up here, guys. Sorry, don't wanna, don't wanna leave these out. These are very important, you know. Up here in the top, you can see you get some of these nice silica gel packets, which I guess, <laughs> from comments on other videos where I said these were poisonous, they aren't actually poisonous, but I still would not advise eating, guys. Like, don't eat these unless you really want to find out what happens and take a trip to the hospital. Heed the advice and throw these away. So you get two of those, though, so you can know that your drone is all dry and not infected with water. <laughs> Next up, you do get an adapter for the iPhone. So this is a lightning cable adapter for the RCN3 controller. If you have the RC2 controller or the one with the screen, you obviously won't get a cable because it has the screen built in and you don't need to hook up your phone. But yeah, if you have an iPhone, you'll have this to change out for the, I'm guessing the USB-C version that's currently installed in the controller. So yeah, there's that. And then you also, it looks like they give you a USB-C cable. I'm not sure if this is a cable that's capable of charging up the batteries like at a 60 watt rate, but I'm hopeful it looks, you know, not too cheap. So maybe it's possible that it, they included, you know, the little more advanced cable, uh, but of course no USB wall adapter. So I would advise like getting an anchor 60 watt or even 100 watt wall adapter so you can charge up your drone batteries fast and not have to wait like 24 or 48 hours for them to charge with like an Apple 20 watt wall charger. Now. Just quickly, here are the manuals that are included. They do include some stickers, a whole bunch of stickers actually, it looks like. I'm not gonna open that, but that's a very thick packet of stickers there that you get, so that's nice. Uh, you also get a little like, thing about DJI Forum, which is a fun little place to go talk to other DJI users. Quick start guide, safety guidelines, who needs safety, blah, 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 Japan. So, all right, guys, yeah, this, at a certain point, like, there's not really much that you need to see with these little pamphlets, but if you like reading paper manuals, hey, they give you a little bit of paper there to read. Finally, let's get to the drone and the controller itself. Here we go with the RC and 3 controller. Now this controller was introduced first with the DJI Neo, and it's basically, it seems like just a cheap version of the RC and 2 controller, but with some like additional hardware and software for the newer drones. I'm not exactly sure guys, but yeah, it looks like they changed these to black down here. Um, these are a little more like kind of black and rubbery, but otherwise, yeah, you pull this out, boom, you mount your phone in there. Uh, and as I said, it has the USB-C cable here for Android phones and new iPhones. But if you're with the older iPhones before the iPhone 15, of course, you're going to be using the lightning cable. So yeah, this is going to be good for most people, but I actually still have an iPhone 14 Pro Max, so I'll be having to change out the cable to this one when I want to fly the drone. So it's nice they still include that and don't make you pay an extra $10 for having a slightly older phone. Now, getting to the drone itself here, if you're still watching, thank you for holding in. Uh, sorry, it's taken me a bit to get to the drone, but I wanted to save the best for last, guys. Like, you only unbox a product once and, ooh, wow, this is, it's a beast. I mean, it's definitely not as big as the Mavic 3 series. Like. That is a really hefty drone, but compared to the Mini 4 here, like you can see that these aren't really even in the same league. Like this is maybe two thirds of the size, but is really like a third of the weight, like 250 grams here versus like 720-ish grams. So 
completely different class of drones. Like the Air 3 series has gotten so big compared to the Air 2, whereas the Mini series has been stuck at 250 grams because that's the whole point of the Mini series of drones. But yeah, just quick comparison there between these two. I don't know if a lot of people will be looking at these two drones, but if you want a full in-depth comparison, maybe I'll make one in the future. Now, folding out, boom, like that, it's very simple, boom. And then the legs actually go out. Now it's interesting because this drone still has the old school way of unfolding, whereas the mini series, you can just do it in any order. This drone, you still need to flip the legs out first and then kick the back ones back. But yeah, wow, folds out nice. It feels, you know, premium. Like it feels like you just paid 1600 or whatever dollars for a drone for sure. Doesn't feel as flimsy as the mini series. And then of course the big thing with this drone is other than software, it's pretty much all up front, the new features. So let's take a look at the camera and see how, gosh, every time they really change how <laughs> the gimbal guard attaches and it never quite feels right. And just after I finished learning how to do it on one drone, it's always changed on the next series of drones. So I'm not sure how this comes off, guys. Oh, there we go. I guess I did that right. Not exactly sure, but that's a massive gimbal guard, uh, mostly because they had to add, I think, this part to protect the new LiDAR sensor as well. So you now have like one, two, three, four, five sensors up front that need protecting. Like, wow, it's kind of getting out of control, but more hardware basically means more features at this point. And yeah, looking at that, you can definitely tell that it's a bigger sensor down here with the one inch sensor. I'm pretty sure it's the IMX 989 by Sony, which initially is a smartphone sensor. So I'm a little worried about that. Like the Air 2S has a Sony sensor that was originally meant for like professional cameras. It's in the RX series of Sony vlogging style cameras. So it's not as like smartphone based. This one intended for smartphones. And I think it's in the Xiaomi series of smartphones as well as a couple other ones. But yeah, we'll have to see how good quality is. I'll be testing it out, of course, in the future. Also interested to see how much this LiDAR sensor helps. It potentially is a hint at what's coming with the Mavic 4 series. Like I'm guessing if we're seeing one LiDAR sensor up front here, we'll probably see at least a sensor up front and in the back, maybe on the sides too with the Mavic 4 series. Who knows? Uh, that's down the road, maybe a month or six months or a year at this point. But yeah, overall my impressions right out of the box is this definitely feels like a more expensive drone than the mini series. So you at least, you know, just on the, does it feel like a quality drone? Yeah, it feels like a quality drone out of the box, a bigger camera. Like if you're spending 1500 or so dollars, you know, you'll feel like you got your money's worth. I personally can't wait to get outside and fly this drone. That's why I'm now like kind of hurrying to end this video. So if you are still watching and you do have any questions, let me know down below uh, what they are and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. If you aren't currently subscribed to the channel and it's your first time here, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out or just share this video with a friend, click like. I do have affiliate links down below as well as actually a link to a drone comparison spreadsheet that I maintain for my own personal use, but I share it with you guys for free. So if you're trying to decide which drone exactly you should get, check that out. It's really helpful. It just has all the specs you need to know. Line by line by line, you can go across uh, and help you decide which drone is right for you. So anyways, that is it for this video today, guys. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it helped you find out what exactly is included in the Air 3S Fly More Combo Kit. Social media links, subscribe, comment. I think I said it all. So if you are still watching, thank you for watching. Peace out, fly safe, and as always, have a nice day. Bye.